Hare you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we are here to welcome you all on behalf of our uh, family and Vedya Performing Arts. This is a special day for our daughter Geetika and a joyous occasion for our family. She has been learning Parajan attempt since she was, uh, she was five years old and today we celebrate her Arangetum which is made possible by her hard work and dedication. Geetika is extremely passionate, passionate about dance and she has been eagerly looking forward to this day. This event is happening today due to immense training and guidance from her Guru Sri Rubina Sudharman as well as the contributions and support from all of you. First of all, we would like to welcome our, our respected Swamiji. We are blessed to have his esteemed present here today. Welcome Swamiji. Guru Monalisa Doble, who introduced Kitika to the amazing world of Bharatanatyam. We appreciate your presence here today, Mona, to bless her on this auspicious day. <laughs> we would like to also mention Guru Smita Srini, who couldn't make it here today since she has moved to California, but she has sent her love and wishes for Kitika. Remembering my father-in-law during this time, who I am sure is showering his blessings from heaven on us. We want to also welcome all of our family members in India who are watching this event live today. Now, we would like to welcome our dear family and friends present here today to support and bless Ketika. All of you are, as all of you are, we are also eagerly waiting for Ketika's performance. Hope, hope all of you will enjoy this event. Now we would like to welcome our musicians, Srimadhi Radhika Devarajan on violin, Sri Murali Balachantan on Mutangam, <laughs> Sri Devi Shankar Srinivasa on flute, Sri Viknesh Devi Shankaran, our vocalist, and of course, our co-host and backbone of this event, Srimadhi Guru Rubina Sudharman on Natwanga. We will now hand over to our MCs of the day, Mrs. Indu Rajesh and Dr. Sriti Anand. Thank you. Hariyo and good evening to everyone. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devu Maheshwara, Guru Saksha Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Vena. Namaskaram. This is Sri Anand, and in the Rajesh, it is a special privilege and a very high honor bestowed upon us to guide you all through today's program. We are here today to celebrate Geetika's triumph, the triumph of her dedication to achieve a magnificent goal, fueled by ambition, passion, a lot of talent, and a boatload of hard work. Welcome again to Geetika's Arangetra. Om Asatoma Sarkaraya, lead me from the unreal to the real. A true master comes to this world rarely. A true master is like a bodhisattva who sets aside his own priorities for the welfare of the world. We have been immensely blessed to be in the presence of a guru who, with his noble leadership skills and self-dedication, has served as a beacon of light for our community, guiding adults and children alike to achieve success and true happiness for generations. I humbly request Swami Siddhanandaji, Acharya of Chinmay Mission Tri-State Centers, to please come on stage and light the lamp and bless this occasion. Thank you. 
हरि ओम टू ऑल ऑफ यू देर इज अ रीजन फॉर एवरीथिंग and the divine blessings will come automatically at that time i was just thinking why this corona virus was there for last two years and we were planning to do this program for how you know more than a year but look at that now this corona came and it's really a blessings for all of us we could do lot of classes lot of activities and otherwise you know i have to try all the way so all those things reduced and we could do much much more from sitting in one place and that was a real blessings and this also look at that yesterday was the international dance day so we could do it today because because of the corona virus and we are celebrating the international dance day today and we are all very very happy to have this program much awaiting for this day there's a shloka aahladidam kulam sarvam yadha chandrayana sarvadi this brings joys to the ender family and friends and very very happy too just as a single moon brings light on a on a dark night guru comes at the particular point you need not search and even she didn't search a guru but the guru came exactly for her and the best student will get at the best teacher how lucky she is and she got the best teacher and you know i tell you on the first day of her performance even rubina's program also i have seen many harangattams and our geetika's program on the first day here i saw her you know her steps are very firm you agree every step she what she was doing and every program i used to appreciate wherever geetika's program is there i am there so some people that they have the talent they have to do and to uh, to encourage all these things we have our balavihar we have our uh, we have four centers chinmay chinmay mission here and all those i wanted to encourage people for that we started nirtanjali gananjali vadyanjali swaranjali like that every aspect so children can be promoted and they can be in this stage and they can give much more programs and also whenever i go to anybody's house for bhiksha and i never sit waste i never waste my time at that time what i will do no gossip no politics what I, what i do i will ask them to sing either sing or dance or some andakshari to entertain all these families wherever i go and you won't believe some time back i went to manoj's house in robinsville what i did i called geetika geetika you must sing now and she was uh, laughing you know no no swami ji i won't sing no you must sing now and she just started singing that uh, particular song kaniganam neram kamala netrande how beautifully she sang then i called navanith navanith you are learning mridangam you must play mridangam now and he brought the mridangam and he played and it was one of the best program and i recorded no you because even the parents were not believing such a wonderful program so i congratulate manoj and uh, roshini geetika and navanit and her 
um, Guru Rubina Sudarman and Nanda Kumar, the Mridangam teacher. So all of them put together and gave this, both these kids a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, uh, the cultural aspect of India and which they are going to present to all of us. And also, I'm very happy that today, Viknesh Revichandran is here, Srimadhi Radhika Devarajan is here, Murali Balachandran is there, and Revi Shankar is here. And let us all close, you know, you know means, you know, just concentrate for the program and be here, not, you know, you know sometimes you are here, but sometimes your mind will go somewhere. No, you be here only and watch the program and uh, encourage this, uh, both of them, both the kids. Thank you. Hari Om. Thank you, Swamiji, for that wonderful message. We are truly blessed for your guidance and everything you do for us. Thank you. With that auspicious start, we welcome everyone on behalf of Vedika Performing Arts, Geetika, her family, again to this beautiful venue. More than anything else, it is your love and goodwill, your prayers and support, your friendship and guidance. That's what Geetika needs today to carry on with her journey to fulfill her dreams. The dictionary describes dance as a series of movements that match the speed and rhythm of a piece of music. The Lord of Dance, Lord Shiva, in his manifestation as Nataraja, gave us the art of dance. In fact, he is said to have danced this entire cosmos into existence with his Tandavam. Such was the power of his divine dance. Bharatnatyam is an ancient form of Indian classical dance which has been practiced for over 3,000 years with origins in the temples of South India. It is an integral part of India's rich heritage and is an all-inclusive dance form with graceful movements, hand gestures, intricate footwork, and subtle facial expressions. The dance form comprises of its core elements, Bharata and Natya, Bha, which is short for Bhavam, expression, Ra, Raga, melody, and ta for talam or rhythm. The second half, nritya, is a combination of nritta and natya. The dances are centered around the nine emotions, the navarasas, namely happiness, anger, disgust, fear, sorrow, courage, compassion, surprise, and serenity. Now, Arangetram is a Tamil word for ascending the stage. A dancer who has mastered these elements is able to harmonize the body, heart, and mind, thus enabling them to perform an arangetram, the dancer's debut performance, which was formed after years of training and dedication. This tradition marks the culmination of the training phase for a Bharatanatyam dancer, and it is the beginning for greater endeavors to delve deeper into the dance form. Now, in order to appreciate and respect the hard work that has gone into preparing for today's, today's recital, here are a few house rules. Please silence all cell phones and refrain from using them inside the auditorium. If you need to leave, please do so during the small breaks between the items. Now, please sit back, relax, and enjoy. And please don't forget to cheer along. Today's concert will start with an invocation to Lord Ganesha by our vocalist Sri Vignesh Karthik. Gajanana Yutam Ganeshwaram Gajanana Yutam Ganeshwaram Gajanana Yutam Ganeshwaram Sri Gajanana Yutam Bajami Sadatam Sureshwaram Sri Gajanana Yutam Ganeshwaram Bajami Sadatam Sureshwaram Sri Gajanana Yutam Oh, <laughs> 
today commences with Pushpanjali, meaning floral offering with respect using folded hands. During Pushpanjali, the dancer offers to the gods flowers and seeks their blessings from the Lord himself, Lord Nataraja, her guru, the musicians and the audience. This piece is used as an invocatory item in the Bharat Natyam repertoire. This piece has been choreographed by Srimadhi Guru Rubina Sudarman, Ragam Arabi, Talam Adi, composer Sri Balamurli Krishna, Pushpanjali. Yeah. 
Being a Bal Vihar student, Geetika's, this is Geetika's dedication to Gurudev Chinmayananda. This bhajan highlights some brilliant attributes of Gurudev, the uplifter of Sanatana Dharma, greatest proponent of Bhagavad Gita, and his ability to inspire and encourage each and everyone around him, to name a few. This bhajan has been composed specially for this event by none other than our Swami Siddhananda Ji. This is a very special piece dedicated to all our Gurus. Jai Guru Devam Chinmayanandam Jai Guru Devam Chinmayanandam Pranamam Yakam Guru Devam Adar Nisham Pranamam Yagam Guru Devam Adar Nisham Dharmo Darakam Gita Prajarakam Dharmo Darakam Gita Prajarakam Ananda Rupam Chinmaya family extremely proud. 
May Gurudev, Swamiji, and your Balviha teachers and all your Guru's blessings be always with you, guiding you. And special thanks to Swamiji and also to Steve Vignesh for this very special song. <laughs> Next piece is Slokamala. Slokam refers to words generally used in praise of a deity. Mala is a chain or a garland. Here in Shlokamala, Geetika will be presenting a string of slokas in praise of these gods in the following order. Lord Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, the one who symbolizes wisdom. Lord Vishnu, the all-pervasive, the one who is everything and inside everything. Lord Shiva, the supreme lord, the destroyer within the Trimurtis, the triple divine divinity who creates, protects and transforms the universe. And Goddess Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, music, creativity, art, wisdom. Please enjoy Sloka Mala. Gajananam Kutakarnani Sevitam Oh, <laughs> 
सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यम वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभ करे सिद्धिभव मे साता सिद्धिभवतु मे सदा After this sloka mala, the gods are definitely here cheering you on. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please get another round of applause for Gaitika? <laughs> Next in this margam is Andar Kautvam. What is Kautvam? Kautvam is a hymn sung in devotional praise of a deity. Andar is considered to be the human incarnation of the goddess Bhudevi. Born under a tulsi plant, raised by a priest, named as Kode, she grew up as an ardent devotee of the Lord Krishna. Now Kode made garlands for the Lord daily. However, she wore it first before offering it to the god, which is considered rather sacrilegious. She was prohibited from making garlands, and legend has it that the Lord refused to wear any other garlands. Kode becomes a true testament to the divine love between her soul and the Lord until she finally merged with the Lord Vishnu in that very temple. She was hence named Andar, meaning the lady who wore and then offered her garland to the Lord. Ragam, Malaya Marudam, Talam, Adi, composer Gangai Muttanatuvanar, Tahatanam tadikakatatanam takka 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 dimi dimi tadikita jono tahatanam tadikakatatanam takka 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 dimi dimi tadikita jono 
Kabir Das says in his Doha, Guru Govind Do Khade Kake Lagu Paam, Balihari Guru Aapne Govind Diyo Batai, 
If Guru and God appeared before me, whom should I bow to first? I bow to my Guru, for it is he who introduced me to God. Ladies and gentlemen, it brings me immense pleasure to introduce Srimadhi Rubina Sudharman, Geetika's Guru, without whom Geetika's dance tapasya wouldn't be fulfilled today. <laughs> Guru Srimadhi Rubina Sudharman is originally from Kannur, Kerala, India. She is trained in vintage Pandanalur Kalakshetra style of Bharatanatyam and also in the Kalamandalam style of Mohiniyattam, under the guidance of Guru Pallavi Krishnan, B.R. Tulsiram, and Srimadhi Vasudha Rao. She holds a master's degree in Paradhanatyam. Vedika. Vedika Performing Arts is Guru Rubina's artistic vision and creation. The school has won many laurels in competitions nationally. Vedika's laurels extend beyond teaching, and the organization has received rave reviews for its exemplary performances at various stages. Vedika Performing Arts continuously collaborates with several cultural organizations in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York, whereby the school has been asked to provide training in dance and culture. Vedika is not just a dance school but a well-conceived methodology whereby the curriculum allows the students to develop a thorough understanding of the art through the systematic study of technique, culture, and representation of the Indian classical music and dance to a global audience. Vedi is a platform established by Vedika Performing Arts where each one of us can produce, present, and demonstrate our work. This platform can be a learning process for all of us. Guru Rubina Sudharman has been training kids for over two decades and has had over 400 performances and has been the recipient of numerous awards and honors from various prestigious institutions both here in the US and in India. Rubina Sudharman is the recipient of Aryabhata International Award 2017 and Global Achievers Award 2017. A critically acclaimed performer herself, Rubina has choreographed and produced various dance dramas in both Mohiniyattam and Bharatanatyam. Residing in New Jersey, Rubina sees dance not only as a form of art, but also as a medium to uplift our heritage, tradition, and culture that has to be introduced, cherished, and escalated through North America. Even though Geetika and Shrimati Rubina were the true stars of the night, this event would not have been possible without our wonderful orchestra. <laughs> to start off with, our vocalist, Sri Vignesh Ravichandran. <laughs> Sri Vignesh Ravichandran is a Carnatic vocalist in New York, New Jersey area. He's a student of Kalai Mamani V.S. Balamurali of Pondicherry and Shanmuga Sangeeta Sirormani Vishnudev Nambudiri, Chennai. Vignesh holds a master's in fine arts degree in Carnatic vocals from Annamalai University. He has won various awards and accolades for his performances. In addition to the solo concerts, Vignesh frequently sings for Bharatnatyam and Kuchipudi performances and Arangedrams. Vignesh is a senior computational biologist at the Memorial Sloan Catherine Cancer Center in New York. Sri Vignesh Ravichandran. Next, to our wonderful violinist. Srimati Radhika Devarajan received her initial training in violin from Sri S. V. Ramachandran in Mumbai and pursued advanced training under vocalist Professor R. Subbalakshmi, Srimati Kalyani Ramani, violinist Padmasri A. Kanyakumari, and Sri Vital Ramamurti. She has performed solo and as an accompanist to 
several programs for several years, both in the, India, both in the US and in India. Srimati Radhika Devarajan is also the founder and director of Swaradika School of Carnatic Music that's based in central New Jersey. Students regularly participate in fundraisers, competitions, and have received several prizes in Cleveland Aradhana, CMANA, and performed violin arangetrams. Srimadhi Radhika Devrajan. And on Mridangam, we have Sri Murli Balachandran. Sri Murli Balachandran hails from a family of dancers and musicians. He studied Mridangam under his father, Dr. C.G. Balachandran, and was introduced to Bharat Nadyam by his mother, Usha. Sri Murli is a vers versatile percussionist who is equally at ease playing traditional Indian percussion instruments like the Mridangam, the Ganjira, the Tabla, the Khatam, and the Mosing. Sri Murli is based in New York City and has accompanied leading Indian musicians and dancers in various countries, including New Zealand, Canada, and Indonesia. He has performed on Broadway and at major venues like the Lincoln Center, the American Museum of Natural History, the Smithsonian and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Please put your hands together for Sri Murli Balachandran. <laughs> and the mesmerizing flute. We have on flute Sri Ravi Shankar. <laughs> Sri Ravi Shankar started learning flute from an age of seven from Guru Srimati N. Keshi, disciple of T.R. Mahalingam. As a young artist, Sri Ravi Shankar has given many public performances in AAR and Doordarshan Chennai. He also became part of the Sundaram Bhajan group of Sri Satya Sai organization at later stages of school. In college, he was part of light music group as well. This way, he was able to explore different styles of playing. Ravi Shankar has also been lucky to have performed a few percussion ensembles with Guru Sri Nanda Kumar, including a performance at Cleveland Tyagraja Aradhana. Please give a big round of applause for Sri Ravi Shankar. We have a beautiful rendition again from our wonderful vocalist, Sri Vignesh. <laughs> Vasudevasutam devam Kamsachanuramardhanam Devagi paramanadam Krishnam vande jagat guru Maragadamani Maya Chela Maragadamani Maya Chela Krishna Maragadamani Maya Chela Krishna Maragadamani Maya Chela Krishna Kamala, Pandit, 
ಸದರ ಕಳ ಧಲ ಮುರಳಿ ನವನೀತ ವದನ ಕಮಲ ಆನಂದ ಹಸನ ರಜ ನಯನ ಕಮಲ ಆನಂದ ಜ್ವಲಿತ ನಯನ ಕಮಲ ಆನಂದ ಜ್ವಲಿತ ಮಮ ಹೃದಯ ಕಮಲ ನಿರಂತರ ಜಗನ್ನಾಗದ ನಯನ ಕಮಲ ಆನಂದ ಜ್ವಲಿತ ಮಮ ಹೃದಯ ಕಮಲ ನಿರಂತರ ಜಗನ್ನಾಗದ ಕಾಮ ಅಗಿಟ ತಗ ತಗದಿ ಮೆರಿದ ನಿನ ಜಡು ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸಾಧಿ ಮಮ ತಗಿಟ ತಗ ತಗದಿ ಮೇರಿ ಸನಿ ದಕ ಜನು ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಮಗ ದಜನು ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ತಜಂ ಜಂ ತಗಿಡ ದೇತ್ಲಂ ಗಿಡ ತಗ ಮಗರಿ ಸಿಂಗಿಣ ತುಂ any color in it color brings beauty and variety to make life vibrant and lot more interesting similarly the next event in our bharatnatyam repertoire varnam is going to be a vibrant and eye catching dance forming the main component of this performance today it combines nritya and abhinaya bringing visual poetry to life varnam is usually the longest selection section in a bharatnatyam margam and depicts a story of longing for one's loved one 
Varnam provides the dancers an opportunity to display their potential to bring a story to life. The story here today is a conversation between a Naiga, the heroine, and her Saki, her best friend. We begin the story with our love-struck heroine cajoling her friend to request the Lord, Lord Muruga, to meet her and be one with her. She then describes in splendid detail the greatness and valor of the Lord. Through her words, in various moods and abhinayas, she paints a beautiful portrait of how Mother Nature is mesmerizingly perfect for this union of theirs. In the second half, we see the frustrations and disappointments in our heroine when she finds out that the Lord is actually not coming. She goes on to ask if our Lord is so merciless. Is his heart made of rocks? Now, will her Lord come? Is he going to grace her with his presence? Or is he going to ignore her, please? Is his heart really that hard? Well, let's find out. Varnam, Ragam Purvi Kalyani, Talam Adi, composer Gangai Muthu Natvanar. Varnam. Swami Yevar Sulladi Saki Ye Kumar Swami Yevar Sulladi Saki Ye Yeah. 
visual treat that was. Geetika here showcased all key elements of Bharatanatyam like a true champion. The vibrant colors, the navrasas of her dramatic abhinaya, they all came to life before us like a beautiful, alluring poem. Congratulations to Geetika on mastering the central piece of your Bharatanatyam margam, the Varnam. Let's give it up for Geetika one more time, please. <laughs> Next we have Lakshmi Ashtakam. Mahalakshmi Ashtakam is a stotram composed by the head of Devas, Lord Indra, to praise Devi Mahalakshmi. This stotra is present in Padma Purana and contains eight stanzas. The lyrics explain the divine nature of Goddess Mahalakshmi and her eight forms. This piece has been choreographed by Guru Rubina. Ragam, Ragamalika, Talam, Talamalika. Enjoy. Namaste to Mahamaya Sri Pite Surabuji De Shanka Chakra Gata Oh, my God. 
brother Navneet. Navneet is a sophomore at Robbinsville High School. He's been learning Ridangam for the last five years under Guru Sri T.S. Nandagumar. He's fond of cars and is one of the founders of the Automotive and Design Club at his school. He's also a member of the Robinsville High School marching band and loves hanging out with his friends. Navneet,
our program, we're going to introduce our beautiful, gorgeous dancer, the star of today's show, Geetika. Geetika Manoj Kumar is the daughter of Manoj Kumar Nambiate and Roshni Radhakrishnan. She is from Robbinsville, New Jersey. She graduated from Robbinsville High School and is currently a sophomore college student at the College of New Jersey, majoring in computer sciences. She started learning Bharatanatyam at the age of six under the guidance of Guru Srimadhi Mona Lisa Dobli and later under Guru Srimadhi Smita Srini. She is now pursuing excellence in Bharatanatyam through the teachings of Guru Srimadhi Rubina Sudharman. She has showcased her skills in many competitions and cultural events. Besides Bharatanatyam, she's also interested in learning other dance forms and is an active member of Satya, a Bollywood fusion dance team at her college that performs both Indian traditional dance styles as well as Western dance items. The team actually won second place at the National Dance Competition at Purdue University. Give it up for the team. <laughs> she also likes to choreograph her own Bharatanatyam dance routines and has performed her own choreography at several cultural events. Let's now welcome back Navneet and see how he celebrates his sister's triumph. So first, I would like to take a moment to appreciate all of you for coming to this amazing celebration, which is very important to my family and myself. So thank you for that. Now, let me tell you a bit about my sister Geetika. She's smart, hardworking, kind, trustworthy, and so much more. As an older sister, I guess she's all right. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Not gonna lie, Gitu is an amazing sister. I can't think of a single time when I wasn't enjoying spending time with her, and I can't think of a single time she hasn't been there for me. She's always supported me through everything, stuck up for me whenever she needed to, and I always knew I could go to her whenever I wanted to rant about everything going on in my life. Gitu, I want to take a minute to say that I've seen that you work really hard when it comes to dancing, and I'm really proud of how much you've accomplished over the past years in order to get to this moment today. And although I may not say much, I'm actually really thank you to have you as my older sister. And in all honesty, I couldn't ask for, I couldn't ask for a better one. Thank you. What an amazing little brother. No roasting the big sister or anything, only good things. Wow, Navneet. <laughs> um, there are no better stories to tell than the ones about friendship, isn't it? Yes? Okay. Today we have a few of Geetika's closest friends here to share some of their cherished moments together. Hi, I'm Naomi and I was um, Geetika's Balbihar classmate and I also danced with her for a few years. Um, and it's just so great to be here to experience the culmination of Geetika's years of training in Bharatanatyam. I remember first meeting Geetika for what seems so long ago. We danced together, choreographed together, trained together, and we had so much fun together preparing for Ornam and Vishu performances here at Chinmaya, and also frantically reviewing Long Tillana's backstage the last minute. Um, it has been so great to, um, and so fun to dance alongside Geetika, and now it is amazing to see her grow throughout the years. Geetika, you are so talented and dedicated, and even though COVID has pushed back this performance for so long, you are here now, and we are all so proud to see you shine on stage. Harium, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan, and I've been dancing with Geetika for the past eight years. Geetika is both an amazing dancer as well as an amazing friend that I can always share a laugh with. Not only do I consider Geetika a close friend, but I've always seen her as an older sister and a great role model. She always inspires me to be a better dancer and I can always come to her when I need a friend to talk to. She is such a well-rounded dancer and she constantly pushes me to be a better dancer myself. I love having her at dance class and I always enjoy her performances together. I've always admired her enthusiasm and dedication to dance. Congratulations, Geetika. I'm so proud of you and all of your accomplishments, and thanks for being the best dance partner I could ask for. Thank you. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Nandita. Um, I'm one of her family friends, and we basically grew up together. 
And so throughout all these years, her love for dance has been something that's been very apparent, um, as I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, uh, whether that's through her Bharatanatyam journey or through her involvement in her dance club at college, or even just the small choreos that she learned just to show us when we were hanging out. Her love for dance is something that's only grown as the years have gone on. And so seeing her perform today in front of all of us as such an accomplished dancer is honestly a surreal experience. Her endless stamina and perfectly crafted expressions all speak to the numerous hours that she's poured into her craft. And I'm beyond proud of her for her wonderful performance today. Completing her outing at drum also already takes so much dedication and commitment. And balancing that with her college workload and her extracurriculars is really a tough task. But doing this all while a pandemic's going on is something that I really can't even imagine doing. But she handled it so gracefully, and you can really see the results here today. And so, Gitu, I just wanted to say that I can't wait to see the rest of your performance. And your Aryanatram is just the start of your dance journey, and I hope to see you continue to grow as a dancer. Thank you. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm a family friend. Um, I'm told I'm meant to say something funny or maybe something embarrassing, but I'm both not a gutsy enough person to pull that off. You can probably hear my nervousness. And also, there's nothing of that kind to say. Geetika is the single most cutest human being I've ever had the grace to meet in life. She has such a happy, sheepish sort of smile and bears it when I wrap my arms around her and refuse to let go. My own parents can only stand it for like five seconds at most. When did I meet her? Who can say? I've always known her the same way I've always known my parents, my brother, or my cousins. And I may not be the most outgoing person on the planet, but I plan to know her for the rest of my life as well. Geetika is the light of my life, the spring in my step, and the song in my ears. I'm so excited this is happening. So excited everyone here, including me, gets the chance to see her dance. It may have slipped us time and time again, but we're finally here, and I sincerely hope everyone here is enjoying themselves as much as I am. Thank you. We're going to continue our program with the next item, which is Padam. In this composition, the dancer describes the divine beauty of Keshava from head to foot, beginning with the peacock feather that adorns his curly hair, down to the gold anklets that grace his lotus-like feet. This piece is choreographed by Srimadhi Guru Rubina Sadharman, Ragam Mohanam, Talam Adi. Ke Shadi Padam. Padam to Rune Keshava Keshadi Padam to Rune Keshadi Padam to Rune Keshava Keshadi Padam to Rune Keshadi Padam Padam, 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 Padam,
ஆத்திரு புடலும் பாலத்தொடு குறியும் தானு தொழும் குரியும் தாரு தொழுமே கேஷாதிவாரம் மலர்காது தோழுமே மகர குண்டலமிட்ட மலர்காது தோழுமே குடில குண்டலும் பாவும் துளி நெட்டி தோழுமே கருணதன் கடலாய கடமிழி தோழுமே அருண கிரணமணி முகபத்மம் தோழுமே கேஷாதிவாரம் கேஷாதிவாதம் களவெணு வழியுண்ண கரத்தளும் தோழுண்ணேன் தீலம் உண்ண கலகண்டம் தோழுண்ணே களவெணு வழியுண்ண கரத்தளும் For this venue, our own Madhuvan, 
Home of Vrindavana Krishna. Geetika, this piece was simply astounding, and it really felt like the Lord Guruvayurappan himself was nodding and smiling in appreciation and enjoying the performance from Sanctum Sanctorum. Give it up for Geetika once again, ladies and gentlemen. Bharat Natyam has been immortalized and continues to thrive as a living tradition from generation to generation, handed down from guru to shishya. The guru-shishya tradition lineage or parampara denotes a succession of teachers and disciples in traditional Indian culture, where teachings are transmitted from a guru or teacher to a shishya, disciple or chela. Such knowledge is imparted through the developing relationship between the guru and the disciple. It is considered that this relationship based on the genuineness of the Guru and the respect, commitment, devotion, and obedience of the student is the best way for subtle or advanced knowledge to be conveyed. The Guru has an immense responsibility in guiding the student the right way to inspire sincerity, loyalty, and trust in their student to the extent that the student blindly entrusts themselves to the teacher's care. The student eventually masters the knowledge that the guru embodies. The teachers are the ones who carry on the tradition without allowing it to get lost, especially in today's fast-paced, technology-driven world. The challenge lies in making the dance classes enjoyable rather than a chore. Rising above all, this to shape and mold a stage-worthy dancer is a daunting task. But Guru Rubina Sudharman has proven that she embodies what a guru should be. We now call upon Manoj and Roshni together with Geetu to honor the guru, the maestro, without whom this day could not have been conceived. Now we call upon Manoj and Roshni together with Geetu in honor of our guru, Srimadi Rubina Sudharman. The maestro, without whom this day could not have been conceived or successful. Thank you all for seeing, being such a wonderful audience. You guys are just amazing. Give us more and more energy. My rock star today, Geetika Manoj, as we fondly call her, Geetu. Geetu, teacher is so, so, so proud of you. When you started classes with me, I could see that little spark in you and how much you enjoyed dancing. Geetu has been consistent in learning and presenting her pieces thoroughly from time to time. Standing before you as Geetika's guru, I must say she has made me proud. A big round of applause for Geetu. <laughs> Arangetam is indeed a milestone in a dancer's life and Geetika truly has accomplished this. And to be able to dance in front of Lord Krishna himself is a blessing by itself. Like I always tell my students, hard work pays off. And today we see Geetika's hard work paid off. Geetu is a very patient and sincere student and always wanting to learn more and more. May God bless you, Geetu. You had a flair to dance with any item taught to you and even if you were substituted for anybody else in the last minute for performances. That shows the versatility of a dancer. I would have put you in different, different groups and thrown you here and there for many performances. You proved it all. Well done, Geetika. Roshni and Manoj have been very accommodating and it has been a smooth journey planning and prepping the Arangeta. When they decided to go ahead with Geetu's Arangetam, they just picked up the phone and told me, 
teacher, we want to get her arrangement done. And that's the last I heard from her. <laughs> and she meticulously planned everything for the arrangement. Thank you, Roshni and Manoj. Firstly, for trusting me with Geetika's arrangement and making this so special for her as well as for me. <laughs> On this day, I pray to Lord Nataraja that Geetika be able to pursue and achieve greater heights in Bharatnatyam. I'm sure Geetu will continue learning dance as she's so passionate about this art form Bharatnatyam. Dance is a divine art and as I always tell my students, learning should be wholesome. Learn dance in a way that you will be able to carry this to your next generation. You'll be able to teach your kids and your kids teach the others. I'm also very happy to say that Geetu assists me sometimes in classes during my training sessions. An Arangetram is complete when we have an able musical support. We are so blessed to have a lovely orchestra this evening. I couldn't have asked for more. They were just truly amazing. My heartfelt thanks to Vignesh for graciously accepting and helping Geetu go over the items way ahead of time, which helped both Geetu and me. Murli Balachandar sir, thank you so much for guiding us during the practice sessions. My heartfelt thanks to Radhika for the support and Ravi Shankar for being such a wonderful uh, team player. Thank you all. A big thank you to A big thank you to our wonderful accompanying artists who made this evening so special. I really couldn't have asked for more. They are the best. Special thanks to Anuradha Ranganathan for the decoration, stage, lobby and everything. Thank you to Rashmi Sudhintra for making Geetu look so pretty today. A big thanks and a shout out to Photolea, Sam and Ila for the photo and video coverage. Thank you Swamiji for being there. It's a blessing to have you throughout the show. Thank you so much. It is because of you that I started classes in Chinmaya. The vision that you had, thank you so much. And you saw the product today. A big thanks to my gurus who have been the guiding light for me throughout my journey. Without them, I am no one. And a big thank you to my husband, child, my brother, my dear friends who are here, who are all the, always there for all my programs to support me. My family, yeah, I can say this a million times. Yes, it means a lot to me. Arangetram marks a graduation and a milestone. Today, I will be presenting the graduation certificate to Geetika Manoj Kumar. Can I call Geetu on stage, please? The plaque reads, Vedika Performing Arts. Awards Geetika Manoj Kumar in recognition for her sincere and dedicated efforts towards the outstanding training and performance of Bharatnatyam Arangetram, 30th April 2022, Yardley, Pennsylvania, given by Guru Rubina Sudharma. Now, 
Queen Mind, our violinist, Srimadi Radhika Devarajan to the dais. A mastery of the violin and an infantile choir for the instrument. Next, we would like to invite Miss Mona Lisa Dobby onto the dais, please. Ms. Mona Lisa Zobi is the Artistic Director of Tabasia Dance Academy. She is a well-rounded teacher, choreographer and performer with extensive experience in this field. Geetika started learning Bharatanatyam as a young child from Mona. Our makeup artist, Srimadi Rashmi Sudendra, onto the stage, please. Beautiful portraits originate as plain canvases. Similarly, a makeup artist is a true wizard when it comes to getting an artist ready. Next, Srimadi Anuradha Ranganadhan. Today's decor would not have been possible without him. The beautiful stage and all the necessary backdrop was made possible by Srimadi Anuradha Ranganadhan. Photos and videos. What is an event without photography? Photo layer, please come onto the stage. Memories for life are always made possible by our photographers. Like our own Arun. We call our photo layer photo and videos today. We call upon our star, Geetika herself, for a little speech. Hi, hello and thank you for such a wonderful evening. There is so much involved in creating a successful Anagatrum and I would like to take the time now to thank the many people that supported me in many ways. I would first like to thank my parents not only were they a continuous source of emotional support for me, but they had taken so much time out of their already busy lives just to make sure that I'd be able to dance on stage today. I spent so much time arranging for a hall of musicians. My dad would drive me to and from practice every week leading up to the Anagatrum. Towards the last few weeks before the Anagatrum, they were busy making food for the musicians during rehearsals. I'll forever be grateful for everything that they've done to make this a success. Thank you. I also... My brother for being there for me whenever I felt overwhelmed and for helping, helping me or er, and for helping with the preparations when needed. I would also like to thank my guru Rubina Anti for her guidance throughout the preparation for my Arangetram. I feel blessed to have a guru like her. She's an incredible, incredibly sweet person who treats her students as if they were own, her own children. And while teaching, she is very meticulous about the way each step is executed. And her attention to detail has helped me improve significantly as a dancer. 
and I'm extremely grateful for the months she spent making sure that I was fully prepared to perform on stage today. Thank you, Ruby Nanti. I would also like to thank the incredible musicians Vignesh Ravi Chandan sir, Murali Bala Chandan sir, Radhika ma'am, uh, and Ravi Shankar sir. They are so talented and the sweetest, most understanding people. They were able to help me feel comfortable during the rehearsals and were able to offer assistance when I had trouble in understanding the beats while practicing, so thank you. I also want to thank Anu Aunty for coming yesterday in the afternoon before rehearsals and decorating the stage in the hall so beautifully. I would also like to thank Rashmi Aunty and Day Aunty for coming in today and doing my makeup and for helping with costume changes backstage. And thank you to Mr. Saji Thomas for making the brochures, they were very beautifully made. Thank you to Mr. James for coming to the auditorium early today to set up the sound system. I would also like to thank both the MCs, Indu Aunty and Shridhi Aunty for keeping the audience engaged and making sure the program goes smoothly. Also, thank, thank you for helping with that last minute preparation yesterday. I also want to thank my friends and family for their, for their support throughout the preparations. They were always ready to help us when we needed it. Thank you to Chandni Aunty and Vishujit Uncle for helping a lot with the preparations. And thank you to my wonderful Amai and Amaven for coming to visit us all, all the way from Canada. They drove nine hours to see me here, so thank you so much. Finally, I would like to thank the audience for being present and engaged throughout the performances. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. I would like to give a little present for Ruby Nick. Friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. Similarly, our little friends here would like to give Geetika a special token as their appreciation for her Bharat Natyam Arangetram graduation ceremony. Now we would like to invite our Pooja Swamiji onto the stage, please. The star of tonight's show, give it up ladies and gentlemen, Geetika. Next, none other than our very own guru, Srimati Hina Sudhindu. Our vocalist for tonight, Sri Vignesh. Our Mridangam Maestro, Sri Murali Balachandar. Master Sri Ravi Shankar, our violin artist Sri Madhi Radhika Devarajan.
Give those moms some satisfaction. What can I say? These ladies look so gorgeous and young. They got me confused. throughout this entire journey. Thank you, Rubina. Thank you, Mona. Mona Lisa Dovli for uh, attending this animator and blessing Geetika. We would like to thank uh, our musicians. The next piece is Tilana. Tilana is a lively number mostly consisting of rhythmic compositions. A fast paced and energetic dance where the dancer and the mridangam artists are going back and forth with intricate patterns and footwork to mesmerize the audience. It was during one of the birthdays of Srimati Rukmini Devi Arundel that Vinay Sri Krishnamacharya composed a Tilana in Ragam Natabhairavi, which was offered as an invaluable gift to her. The Natabhairavi Tilana, being a prized position of Kalakshetra, was generally taught to comp competent students who had the capacity to bequeath the beauty and the preciousness of this music dance composition. Ragam Natabhairavi Talam Adi, composer Vinay Sri Krishnamacharya. Enjoy. Puddaradim tadaradim tadaradanate renare hare hare puddaradim tadaradim tadaradanate renare hare hare puddaradim tadaradim tadaradanate renare hare Yeah. 
Satilana, well done, ladies and gentlemen. Now we move on to our grand finale, Mangalam. Mangalam, meaning an auspicious ending, is a prayer at the end of a performance. Key thing to note here is that the dancer here uses only her feet for rhythm. This concluding piece of the Margam the dancer pays tribute to the gods. The dancer expresses her gratitude to the Lord, the musicians, and her guru. She also thanks the audience for their appreciation, without whom this performance would not have been possible. Hari Varasaram is a lullaby ashtagam song for Lord Ayyappan at the Shabari Mala Sri Dharma Shasta Temple situated in the state of Kerala, India. Hari Varasaram. Ragam, Madhyamavati, Talam, Adi, Harivarasanam. Harivarasanam, Vishwamohanam, Haridadishwaram, Aradya Padukam. Harivarasanam, Vishwamohanam, Haridadishwaram. Thank you. 
to watch Geetika today. She looked very pretty and she presented the items beautifully. Uh, we could see the efforts of her Guru Rubina Sudhaman in her training. We are so happy. We enjoyed the program a lot. Especially the Krishna song was very beautiful. Choreographed very well and Geetika presented it ex extremely well. Thank you. It was a beautiful Arange drum. Um, uh, we could see the training given by Rubina as well. So, best wishes to everybody. Um, a special uh, mention for the Mangalam, uh, beautifully done, beautifully choreographed, and um, it still lingers in my, the song still lingers in my mind, even at the end. So, thanks to Rubina and Geetika for a wonderful evening for us. Thank you. Hi Geetika, I really enjoyed watching all your dances, and honestly I just couldn't pick one that I loved the most. Hi Geetika, I loved all your dances. I loved all your costumes as well. You're such an amazing dancer. Hi Geetika, I really like the emotion that you, that you put into each step of your dance. Hi, Hi Geetika, I really liked uh, all your dancing and I think the orchestra in the back did really well. Hi Geetika, it was clear you put a lot of effort to this and it showed. It was incredible. Hi Geetika, um, I really liked how you like 
I really like the choreography of it and how you had a lot of emotion throughout the dancing. Hi, Geetika. I think you danced really well. Congratulations, Geetika.